606 now. We do have some much needed good news in the firefight to our north. The weather is expected to improve today for fire crews trying to keep the Caldor fire from spreading to Lake Tahoe. Strong winds and dry conditions pushed the fire to more than 200,000 acres, but crews there say it wasn't as bad as they expected. Thousands of people, though, remain under evacuation orders. The fire already destroyed hundreds of buildings. That fire started more than two weeks ago and remains about 20% contained. And you've seen the images and video. We want to give you a better idea of what's happening in Lake Tahoe right at this moment. We do have Josh Little from our ABC affiliate in Reno right now joining us live from Lake Tahoe. And Josh, it's just devastating to see the damage this fire has already done. What does it look like from where you are? Well, where we are live at State Line near the casinos, it's pretty quiet up here. Usually, this is the final push of summer, the Labor Day weekend. This place would be packed, and it has been evacuated. Even the evacuees that were staying in these casinos behind me from South Lake Tahoe, they were bused down to Reno yesterday just in case. Really, the only people who are staying here now are the first responders. Now, the fire crews have done a great job of keeping the fire out of the more populated areas like here at State Line and over near Myers. Now, Myers was the big concern. The last couple of days, that little town has been spared as a fire now makes its way up Christmas Valley down Highway 89. It is starting to get closer to the Heavenly Ski Resort. It's about a mile away from the backside of that resort. It's about three miles away from where we are here at the uh, Casino Core, and it's pretty quiet here because a lot of people have been evacuated just in case that fire starts to spread. Now it is 23% contained. We expect to have updated info at around 7 this this morning and uh, yeah good news that they are starting to get a handle on this thing because it was raging out of control uh, just a couple days ago Kalina now Josh it does look like we've learned that the weather is actually going to cooperate a little bit today the winds shouldn't be as strong so our firefighters there and emergency crews going to try to take advantage of that maybe put more people on the ground to get a handle on this You know, I think they've already thrown as many people as they have on this fire. We have crews from all over the West Coast, crews from uh, back east out here fighting this fire, thousands of firefighters. But you're right. We've had red flag warnings the last couple of days. That's when the the winds are, are really, really extreme. And those winds always push the wildfires and make them even more severe. Those red flag warnings are now over. The winds not expected to be as bad today. That's going to allow the firefighters to get in some areas they've been staying out of for safety reasons. So they're going to be able to be deployed in to some more uh, wooded areas to hopefully start putting out this Caldor fire. They do expect it to be fully contained by September 13th, so they certainly have a lot of work to do, but they're making some good ground. That's always good news. Reporting live from State Line, Josh Little, 13 Action News. September 13th. Okay, Josh, that's not too far away. Thank you so much for your reporting. And our coverage of the Caldor fire continues all morning long. You can also visit our website, ktv.com, for the latest information.